so the other day Joanne Fabrics was having a pattern sale and I called the store just to see if they were gonna have the spring patterns in because I don't have them yet and I really really want them this was a McCall sale and the lady on the phone told me they had the patterns in she said they had the spring patterns and so I drove to Joanne's and lo and behold they didn't have the patterns so I was disappointed but I just decided you know what what I'm gonna do this time I'm gonna do something I've never done before and I just decided to order the patterns online from the McCall's website normally I just go to the store and buy all the patterns thumb through the book because I enjoy doing that just in case there's something I missed online but because of this experience I decided you know what I'll just order it online I can pick out exactly what I want and have it shipped to me so that's what I did and I got a notification that the patterns have shipped so I'm excited I'm excited I know I'm late getting my patterns but they are on the way and I can't wait to get them and now my next venture will be to get the spring patterns for simplicity there weren't that many that I wanted, but there were a couple. So I shared in my last video this striped fabric that I purchased from Savers. I wanna make a dress out of it, but I was just a little concerned with how I was gonna make that happen because it's striped. And I know when you're doing stripes, you typically want to cut each piece out one by one and you know make sure everything's lined up. But because I didn't have enough fabric for that, I was like, I don't know how this is gonna work out whether it's going to be a dress or a t-shirt or just something else well i decided to just bite the bullet i am going to try my best to get a dress out of this fabric and i'm gonna just fold the fabric in half i've been thinking about how i want to do this so yeah i'm gonna make a dress out of this somehow so what i'm gonna do is go home get started and I will share the process with you so you will see how this striped dress comes to be, hopefully. <laughs> So I decided that I want to take a t-shirt pattern, Simplicity 1325 I think it is. I love this t-shirt pattern, I've made it before several times. It's like my tried and true t-shirt pattern, I just love it. So I decided I would go ahead and extend it and turn it into a dress. So I want to work from the wrong side of the fabric and I am going to just turn the fabric in on each side so that I can cut the pattern out on the fold. And I <clears throat> have about a yard and an eighth worth of fabric here. And I think this is a jersey knit because it, it's curling up on the ends. And I think it's the jersey knit that does that. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> try my best to make sure that the stripes are matching up when I fold the pattern in. So I'm gonna make sure each little stripe is lined up right here before I cut the pattern out. I'm gonna do that on each side and then I will cut everything out and just pray that it matches. I also want to lengthen the pattern to about 30, five inches or so I took a dress pattern that I made before and I just kind of measured how far down that dress went and then I figured out that was 
where I want this dress to kind of stop. So that's the plan. And I mentioned in my last video that I think that this pattern or this fabric would be really cute with white, like casual tennis shoes. I think that would be super cute. For my pattern pieces, I'm using the front, the back, and the neckline. I would like to use sleeves, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough fabric left for the sleeves. So let me look through here and make sure everything is lining up. Uh, it's not really yet, but let me go ahead and put this down. You know what, I'm gonna, I have a lot of room here, so let me fold the fabric a little bit different differently okay so that I can try to make sure I don't waste any fabric if possible that might be a little too narrow let me see it's a little too narrow oh no I guess it oh, okay that works okay so I have the pattern situated but now I'm going to try to look under here, match the stripes, and pin the fabric down. So I'm gonna move the pattern out of the way for now. And I'm going to lift up and see where I need to try to match everything. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this up here and pin. Okay, try to get these as close to perfect as possible. Get these stripes here. Make sure everything is lined up. So let me see. That's pretty good right there. And I'm gonna pin. And do the same thing here. And pin. So I'm just gonna go all the way down and pin and make sure that the fabric is as straight as I can get it. So now I have everything panned out and I'm, I put pattern weights or rocks down to hold the pattern in place. And then I'm going to measure from the shoulder down to about 35 and some because I want to leave a little bit for seam allowance. So I'm going to mark, I should probably be using a marker, but I'm going to mark right here where I want to cut off. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually stop at the top of this purple line. So that would be a good way to know where I stopped. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to mark right here and cut along this line. And then that way, when I'm laying the other pattern, the back, this is the, I'm sorry, this is the back. When I do the front, I'll know that I'm going to end it on one of the dark purple lines. And then I also made sure that I started the underarm area on a dark purple line. And then when I'm matching up the front piece, I'm gonna make sure that the underarm corner also starts on a dark. So we're starting there on a dark, and then we're going to cut down to this dark mark, and then I'll cut that off. And that should give me a nice length for a dress. And then I don't have a whole lot of fabric left. I should have enough to cut out the neckline piece and it may end up being a sleeveless dress okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing for the back and then i'll be ready to cut out the neck piece and then sew this dress up so i'm so excited because i have the front and the back and the neck piece all cut out and now all i have left is the sleeve but it looks like I'm gonna have enough fabric to cut out the sleeve. But I will have to shorten the sleeve and I will have to cut it out 
one piece, you know, one shirt sleeve piece and then flip it over and do the other short sleeve piece. That's a tongue twister. So I will make it work and hope that this will be just too cute. I am at the point where I am going to start matching up the side seams. I like to use wash away tape, which this is what is here. And I bought this from Amazon. I believe it came in a pack of three and it was very reasonable. So I will put a link in the description if you are interested in getting some wash away tape in bulk. So now that I have the tape down, what I'm going to do is peel back the top layer of this tape and it will leave a little sticky piece. And what I will do with that is take the other part of the dress and lay it on top and line up the stripes and I will stick it to the tape to hold it in place while I sew it together. So when I put the sticky tape down, I did not put this tape on the edge of the fabric. I moved it in a little bit closer to the seam line because I think that gives me a little better control when I'm trying to match everything up. And then I also based everything down first. I based the side seams down after I placed the tape down. And then that way I can check to make sure that everything is aligned. And if it's off, then I can just unpeel the fabric from the tape and then just reposition everything. So yes, that is just how I like to match stripes. I have something that I wanna share with you all and it is my sewing patterns. So if you order online, this is how they come. So this is from McCall's and I'm gonna open it and share with you what patterns I picked up. Now you all may have seen these already if you sew, but I just wanna just go through the ones that I picked up really quickly. Let me see here. Oh, they put a little magazine in here. That's cute. Let me see what it, what it is. Is it really a magazine? Oh, that's so nice. Look at this. So it's like a little booklet. Oh no, it's a, it's a poster. Okay, oh look at this. I had no idea. So this is just, what is it? I don't even know. Okay, it's just like a poster of all the new spring patterns. Kind of like a poster or maybe it is a booklet but I just opened it all the way up. But look at that. That's really cute. Really, really cute. Okay. So maybe it is like a pamphlet, I guess, or a booklet if you want to call it that. Yeah, I'm a cause. Okay, okay. Okay, so I only picked up four. 8174. 8155. 8154. 8146. Yes! So I am so excited about these patterns. I've been waiting for a while. So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So you know how there are many things that have Alexa on it? I recently learned of something called Echo Frames. And they are glasses that have a speaker on them and they have a microphone on them. And you put the glasses on, you wear them, and you can access Alexa through just speaking and the glasses will activate Alexa and you can do everything that you know Alexa does through these glasses I think that that is just amazing and it works for Amazon and it also I mean Amazon it works for Android and it also works for iOS devices and another thing that's really cool is you can have your own prescription put into these glasses I just think that is the coolest thing ever. So I will put a link in the description in case you're interested in learning more about it.